This right here is my intelligence system for automated AI computing, or Isaac for short. Its sole purpose is to make things easier for me, such as order my food, or message my colleagues, or anything else that I'm too lazy to do. It can also do this. Isaac, Max has been annoying me this past week. Can you deal with it? Of course. I will make sure he never bothers you again. <laughs> and can you let me know what you do about this later? Although my software can't compete with ChatGPT or Apple Intelligence, uh, I do have one advantage. Since it's all mostly custom, I can write in custom scripts and almost do whatever I want. And that makes things interesting. This video is sponsored by PCB Way. More on that later. This tech company gaslit me so hard about their previous scam. They're delivering such unfinished products. This thing is just so underbaked. Because this isn't a useful gadget. And oh look, it's a phone. Looks like I'm gonna need to cancel my order. Hey Siri? Mm-hmm. Can you cancel my Rabbit R1 order from about a month ago? Sorry, Apple Cash isn't available here. Hey Siri? Mm-hmm. Can you remind me to work on my LLM project later? I don't see an app for that. You'll need to download one. Damn you. So here's the plan. My last device was pretty bad. As for things I need to improve, one, more CPU power. Two, more functionality. And three, a better case. So... Okay, that took a lot longer to make than I anticipated, but at least now I have a somewhat finished build. I can ask Isaac, you know some basic questions. When was the US founded? The United States was founded on July 4, 1776. <laughs> Get allowed. Um, or I can even have it just in like, Isaac, can you order me a pizza? Of course. Can you please tell what you would like to order? Uh, I'd like a pepperoni pizza, please. Pizza Hut 54. <laughs> Although I like seeing my electronics through the clear case, it does kind of feel like a toy in the hand, so... Thanks to PCB Wave for sponsoring this video. It's hard to convey over video, but 
it feels pretty nice in the hands and it is machined way better than I could have ever done. And it's even powder coated, which is pretty cool. Hmm, still feels like it's missing something. Now that all the hardware issues have been situated, I should probably start explaining my software. Isaac is written in Python and relies heavily on the ChatGPT API. During development, I discovered there was no built-in method for ChatGPT to interact with my code, a feature OpenAI excluded for security reasons. However, I needed a solution to this limitation. By providing specific context to the LLM, I found a way to overcome the issue. One notable advantage of using LLMs is their excellent ability to generalize. I can instruct Isaac to return a specific phrase for general action. For example, if I ask it to order a pizza, Isaac, can you order me a pizza? It will consistently respond with Pizza Hut 54. This approach may seem unconventional, but by turning a general request into a specific response, I can use that response as a trigger for a custom function. In this case, ordering a pizza. Continuing on, once I press the button on my device, it will record my voice for 5 seconds. The sound file is then saved to a folder, where it is transcribed to text using the Whisper API. This text is sent through the ChatGPT API, and the response is played back using eSpeak. So I actually never put in an order for a Rabbit R1, but you know, a friend of mine did allow me to borrow his. Who created Apple? So I can clearly just answer basic questions, which you know shouldn't be a shock. It is running ChatGPT, but if you give it you know something more dynamic, can you order food for me? You are not logged into DoorDash Rabbit. Please log in using the connections page on the Rabbit Hole. I'm not sure if current updates have fixed this, but for the longest time, this feature didn't really work. What is this? Can you buy this on Amazon for me? Let me see. I apologize, but I cannot purchase items for you directly. As what the heck? Flashback. Isaac, Max has been annoying me this past week. Can you deal with it? End of flashback. I programmed Isaac with several options for disturbing people. This time, it chose to spam people with constant text messages. By using the SMT Python package, I can directly message phone numbers. To avoid being blocked, I coded my script to switch to a new email after a specific period. I had many spare emails because I previously wrote a machine learning model that could automatically create emails by solving CAPTCHAs. Unfortunately, this method has since been patched. There's one more feature that I saw the showcase. Isaac, what is this? This is an image of a computer keyboard. The ESC key appears to be brightly colored, possibly orange, distinguishing it from the other keys. Normally, the chat GPT API doesn't work with photos. However, by converting an image into a Base64 format, I can send it as a message to the API. The API will then interpret and describe what it sees. In this case, my keyboard or anything else I choose to ask. That's basically it for these devices although they <laughs> both have their issues and you know kind of flawed since a phone can do everything they do but better they were still interesting things to work on other than that uh, the device i made was really just uh, practice for now luckily i was able to meet a friend who has experience with designing pcbs so hopefully in the next video i will be able to make a custom board that will definitely open up things to another level